Hey, good morning. This is Nick with your AM update for Friday, October 23rd. Here are this morning's top stories. Vernon residents will have the opportunity to vote in on a new ice rink in the region at the end of November. A referendum will be held on November 28th to allow residents to decide if the city should borrow $13.2 million to twin Cal Tire Place. Proponents of the project said the existing facility is getting old and could fail any day. The city of Kelowna is reaching out to the public to get an idea on how residents feel about public art in the city. Kelowna has over 60 pieces of public art, including the iconic bear in Stewart Park. 40 participants will be chosen by a lottery system and given the chance to participate in a community discussion on November 4th. Others will be able to provide input online. A new Liberal federal government is great news for the North Okanagan, according to Greater Vernon's Head of the Chamber of Commerce. Dan Rogers says he hopes a part of the Liberals' $6 billion infrastructure investment plan over four years will be seen in the region to improve water services. He also said improved immigration into the region is needed to deal with the aging population. The city of Penticton is looking to keep Gateway Casino in the city after Lakeside Resort has said they would not be renewing their lease with the casino. Council recently passed first reading of a zoning change that would add the casino to the definition of indoor amusement, entertainment and recreation in an effort to keep the casino around. The city receives $1.6 million annually from the having this casino in the city and it employs 100 staff. For up-to-date news throughout the day, keep an eye on castnet.net. I'm Nick Johansson.